This is Falcon Launch Control, one hour, 31 minutes, 43 seconds into the flight of Jason 3. Joining us here at the Public Affairs Console is Tim Dunn, who was our NASA Launch Manager during the countdown this morning for the Launch Services Program. And uh, Tim, we've been following this uh, flight, and, and it appears by all accounts um, that, 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 that the count went well and the flight went well, but maybe you can give us some background how, how things have gone. glad to do that, George. So let me first off say today is a thrilling day for NASA, in particular for the NASA Launch Services Program. Getting to today has been a long journey, as you can imagine. First time we've had a NASA Launch Services Program mission on a Falcon. Uh, the Falcon 1.1, uh, we spent a tremendous amount of time getting it to the level of certification so that we could do what we just did this morning here on the uh, Central California coast. So uh, with that, uh, I can uh, tell you that uh, it was a, a very active countdown. We got in uh, early this morning and uh, uh, tried to get things going a little bit sooner than the timeline because we felt we might have uh, some issues to work. And uh, we kind of worked uh, an issue with uh, getting the helium pressurization from the ground supply uh, onto the bottles on the vehicle. It was mostly uh, how the ground supply helium is managed at Slick 4. Uh, so that uh, caused us to do a little bit of uh, uh, some workaround actions that we resolved through our anomaly resolution process. And uh, that uh, drove some other changes uh, that we, our engineering team, working alongside SpaceX's engineering team, just did a tremendous job. I, I just can't say enough about uh, how well the two teams, the NASA team and the SpaceX engineering team, worked together to resolve several several anomalies throughout the countdown. How did the flight look? So uh, we uh, we only had a 30 second window today, and uh, we only had two days on the range uh, before we needed to stand down for another range customer here and then uh, try again later. Should we not have launched? So. Uh, as you can imagine, we are very excited to have launched today. Uh, the flight itself, uh, we've just done a little bit of data review, what we call a quick look data review. And uh, first stage and second stage uh, performance uh, looks very nominal. Uh, could not have asked for a better day. Uh, f the uh, first stage burn looked beautiful. Uh, the uh, first burn of the second stage put us into the perfect parking orbit. And then uh, about uh, 42 minutes later, after that, uh, we came up over Africa where we did our um, insertion burn into the uh, operational orbit for the Jason 3 spacecraft. That was a very short burn, uh, about a five and a half or six second burn. That went very well as, uh, likewise. And then we had a uh, nominal spacecraft separation. So uh, by all accounts, uh, Falcon 9 has, uh, has, has come across for delivering Jason 3 on time, on orbit. On time, on orbit, yes. Uh, the the uh, final orbit uh, numbers looked right on the money. Uh, so uh, for the spacecraft, looked very good. We could confirm that the uh, solar array deployment did go well. We're still waiting for another pass uh, where we come across Africa, and the spacecraft will uh, downlink its full state of health data to the uh, that ground station in Fairbanks. So uh, we should know more about the full state of health of the spacecraft when that occurs. Well, Tim, thank you very much, and congratulations on the very happy, successful launch. And I know that uh, we, we've had a lot of uh, uh, additional issues to work to get to this point, and uh, it it all it all worked. Oh, thank you so much, George. Uh, you know, it, it's a tremendous amount of work to get to a day like today, but it's nice when you can celebrate uh, your successes. We're now at 1 hour, 35 minutes, 55 seconds into the flight of Jason 3. This is Falcon Launch Control.
Acquisition of Signal, Kodiak, Alaska. And back chilled for burn three. We've got it. We got Fairbanks. It sounds like we've got the confirmation that we're looking for that the arrays are out. So um, we'll have Parag Vizé come back DVD here in just a moment and um, give us a status. And back ignition. We have Seco three. This is Falcon Launch Control, one hour, 40 minutes, 23 seconds into the flight of Jason 3. And joining us now on the console in the Mission Director Center is Prague Fosse, the spacecraft mission director for Jason 3 from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And uh, Prague, we'd like to hear from you firsthand what, uh, what happened after the spacecraft came off of the rocket. How did the... Uh, how did the data look? What was the first indications are that you had that things were underway as they should be? And then what have you just heard moments ago? Sure, sure, George. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, we had a great launch and, and separation uh, from, the, from the launch vehicle exactly as planned. Um, we did uh, see video of the separation. Um, unfortunately, we went into eclipse, so the video was, uh, was a bit uh, blurry so that we couldn't confirm it. However, all of the uh, uh, spacecraft telemetry acquisition stations came online. We were able to get a strong signal from the spacecraft. The uh, first indications looked very good that um, all of the, the communications uh, systems were working nominally. We were able to communicate with the spacecraft C telemetry. We were then able to observe uh, that the solar array deployment had started and that uh, typically we were, we were able to see that uh, with uh, pyro pyrotechnic devices that are, are firing on, on both of the solar panels. Um, and then, uh, unfortunately, we, we were at the end of our contact, so we had a, a pause. However, we just came up on the next contact. Uh, the uh, spacecraft telemetry looked very good. Uh, again, communications were uh, were nominal, and um, the spacecraft was power positive. That was through tracking, Fairbanks. and um, and uh, the engineers are in fact starting to send commands, and uh, starting uh, to uh, to get the satellite ready to point to the Earth uh, in a more uh, uh, fine pointed mo mode in in a stable condition. But uh, all of the initial checks look great. So at this point, uh, I think. 
Mike, uh, are you able to say that uh, Jason 3 is is off to starting its mission? Jason 3 is off to, to uh, starting its mission, and uh, we've got uh, a large uh, group of people, uh, both the engineering community and the science community, that I think uh, have their work cut out, but uh, anticipating excellent data and an excellent start with a, with a great launch and, um, and uh, anticipating lots of great science telemetry to come. Prague, thanks very much and congratulations and uh, thanks so much for your, your uh, help and support throughout this campaign and getting us uh, to where we are with the launch today and now a successful spacecraft on orbit. Excellent, Prague thank you. Jose, the spacecraft Mission Director from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. We're at one hour, 43 minutes, 26 seconds, and into the flight of Jason 3. This is Falcon Launch Control. This is Falcon Launch Control, one hour, 44 minutes, 12 seconds into the flight of Jason 3, which has now started its mission on orbit. Spacecraft checkout can now begin. Solar rays are out. Spacecraft is power positive, and the initial state of health of Jason 3 looks good. So with that, and uh, much elation here in the Mission Director Center and at the SpaceX Launch and Landing Control Center, we are able to conclude our broadcast today knowing that uh, we've had a successful launch and have a successful mission now underway. This will conclude our broadcast coverage of the Jason 3 launch at a mission